Hi, I'm Ken Graham. Welcome to the How to Cut Hair DVD. Um, I'm going to be uh, cutting Sarah's uh, layered bob uh, slightly shorter uh, into something uh, a bit more trendy uh, and incorporating some kind of asymmetrical look. Uh, and I'm starting off by block graduating uh, the nape area. So just one really large section going up from the nape right up to about three inches or just over the occipital bone but my fingers are sort of angled in a concave shape um, so that they, the layers uh, will have a, a concave shape to them and there will be some nice uh, soft uh, layering uh, around the perimeter. So just working my way up uh, towards the crown with that nice diagonal uh, uh, sections um, and using the previous cut guideline to uh, keep me on the right track. Just checking that that angle is really concave. Okay, so just cutting in the guidelines for the sides. Um, this will be the slightly shorter side. Uh, and just graduating that. working my way up to that natural parting and there we go it's done a little bit of slide cutting in there just to keep that uh, diagonal going really steeply uh, sliding in from uh, behind my knuckles just pushing the scissors through squeezing them together and pushing them through just a little bit more almost a slide cut but sort of some halfway between a slide cut and uh, a, a cutting movement there and then just going back it just means I can put in that guideline very, very quickly um, in a nice diagonal. Pulling those sections forward now just to uh, meet up with the uh, hair over the ears, um, just to give that some layering from the front. You'll see that in a few minutes. Okay, so I sort of fan out these uh, sections. Uh, I'm starting uh, at the front as a guide 
because I know roughly the length it should be and I'm taking it back towards the crown. So going back towards the uh, area that I've already cut and using a sort of fanned out shape from the crown if you imagine lines going out in diagonals from the crown pulling the hair right back over directing it as far back as as you can go so as we keep maximum length at the front um, and just working my way around uh, both sides lifting up the hair that uh, I've previously cut so that it all blends together okay so we're cutting in now uh, you need to cut into all of this now to give it the texture that will give it that nice fresh fashionable look uh, you have to be careful not to overdo this but you have to do enough uh, uh, cutting in is a technique that you just have to practice on people uh, more practice makes perfect uh, start off being very careful what you do uh, take out as little as you need um, and then gradually you can become more ambitious as you want to uh, you know maybe go into more disconnected looks and things like that and I do it very quickly because I'm just showing off but they like it <laughs> Sarah didn't want a, uh, a particularly extreme look, but she wanted it to be different. So I've gone for something that I think in a few weeks time, she can change it again for something else. Um, we haven't uh, done anything that uh, will take months to grow out. So she's happy with that. Or I think her boyfriend is probably. <laughs> and you can see the, the, the feathered result from uh, the block graduation a little bit of weight out at the front there and uh, that's about it really we need to soften up the fringe uh, just gently just cut into it a little bit not much of an angle there but it doesn't need a lot so just chipping in and that's the haircut Okay, so a simple blast dry should do the job. Perhaps add some kind of product that you, you like to use, your, your favorite product, just to give it some kind of uh, separation. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I didn't put too much on it because uh, Sarah doesn't like too much. So it's down to what your client wants as well. I think that's important to remember. The client's the boss. She pays the bills. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. We'll do some more for you. Um, oh, by the way, don't forget to check our website out. Take care. See you now. Bye. Simple, yeah.